Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Dave and in today's video we will talk about the new ban list. It came out and I'm really really excited what we can see because this is the last ban list because the new format, the Master Rule 5 or the Master Rules Revision, doesn't matter what name we use. So right now let's see what we have on the new ban list. First we have Blackwing, Steam the Cloak as a forbidden card. Of course, because uh, Needle Fiber was released, and with uh, Needle Fiber, a lot of tuners seems uh, too powerful, and uh, that's why this Blackwing card had to go. Everybody expected this. So let's see the next one. What we have here is. Uh, okay. That's true, though. That's quite a surprise because uh, that's true, though, is not uh, as powerful as. Uh, the Blackwing card, the Steam, so I don't know why is it here, I think because of uh, Needle Fiber, of course, but uh, a lot of players use this card and uh, it's quite a hit for a few decks. That's an interesting choice because, uh, as I said, the Strudo is not the most powerful tuner in the game, but, but it's an okay hit, in my opinion. Uh, let's see the next, let's see if we have more victims as regards the needle fiber because these cards were only banned because of that single card and let's see what we have okay glow up bulb as you already figured out this is also banned because of our loved needle fiber i think needle fiber is a mass killer <laughs> because it's only the start of the ban list and it already killed three cards they were all forbidden. So let's see other victims. Lunalite Tiger. Oh my god. Uh, I feel bad because uh, at this point all the Lunalite players will be very disappointed because without Tiger you basically can't play the deck because this is the key card of the deck. I also played Lunalite and uh, wow. This is a uh, huge. They not just limited but uh, absolutely killed the Lunalite Tiger. So with this, uh, the infinite negation combo is also a bit hard to make, but uh, all in all, considering the power of the Lunalite engine, it's a fair hit in my opinion. Maybe they could just limit it, but, but if I try to be more objective, I think it's fair to kill this card. So let's see the other cards that we have. We already had four cards and this is just the start of the list, so maybe we will see a lot more. Let's see, nothing here. Okay, okay. Spiral Master Plan! Oh my god! It's, it's kind of like uh, the previous list in which they killed every single deck. Because with this hit they already killed the Lunalite deck and now with the Spiral Master Plan they killed the Spiral deck. Maybe, okay, Spiral is maybe playable, but uh, but this was the best card of the whole deck. We will see, but I don't think that a lot of players will play Spiral after this, or can play Spiral after this. Okay, okay, the next section, the Fusion section. Let's see if we have, uh, let's see if we have something here. And where's the window? I thought that they maybe killed the window, but uh, it seems like they didn't do that. Maybe they limited it, I hope, because I don't really like the fact that with window you can kill a lot of deck on the first round. Okay, let's see the next ones. Link monsters and uh, nothing, okay. Synchros, nothing. No exceed, maybe no exceed. Okay, guys, no exceed. Oh, and we have the spells here. Let's see if they killed some spells. Actually, I thought that they will kill the spiral deck with the trap card hit, but uh, but we will see that. I think after they they killed the master plan, they won't kill the trap card, so that will be untouched, in my opinion. After this. And uh, spell cards, spell cards, spell cards. Nothing, nothing. Okay, traps. 
no trap cards. So actually we only had, if I counted it correctly, five cards which uh, went forbidden. So Konami killed two decks, the Lunalite and the Spiral. And uh, because of Needle Fiber, they killed three cards. So basically Needle Fiber killed more cards than uh, the cards which were killed by Konami because uh, their decks were too powerful. That's nice, this card is really a mess killer. Okay, let's see what we have as a limited. Maybe we will see more cards because uh, five card is not too much. Okay, Danger Jackalope and Danger Tsuchinoko. That's fair, it was uh, kind of obvious hit after the Nessie and uh, Yes, the dangers are quite powerful, but I think the jackalope and the snake were okay uh, being at two. I kind of understand the hit, but I don't think the danger were the biggest problem in the game. Uh, I think Vinda is a bigger problem, but uh, they didn't kill that card. Which is on one hand good, because uh, I'm also playing uh, Shadows and... Uh, I already made a deck profile of Shadows. It seems like I will have to update it if we found something. I didn't expect the ban list to be this early. Let's see other limited cards. Nothing here. Oh. ABC Dragon Buster. Um, I think this card is a bit overhyped and uh, it, it wouldn't be as much harm as... Uh, as Konami thinks. So I'm, I a bit disagree with this, but uh, but maybe because of the hype and because of the fact that the ABC archetype will be a bit more powerful, it's uh, it seems like uh, reasonable and I, I understand, but uh, but I have to disagree with this because I think the deck won't be that powerful that uh, this hit was necessary. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Oh, and no window. Okay, if we don't see a window here, that means that there will no window hit. It's interesting actually. But as I see, yes, there is the Hyper Librarian and the Trishula hits. Both went limited. And uh, this is clearly because of the change of the format and because of the fact that you won't need Link Monsters to summon out the more synchros or more exceeds and uh, on the other hand needle fiber will help you get more tuners so this is an understandable and uh, i think correct hit made by konami let's see if we have some exceeds okay okay totally awesome and zodiac trident right after that so totally awesome, I was expecting this on the one hand, on the other hand I don't think that this was absolutely necessary because the decks which can use this card are not uh, that powerful, maybe Konami expecting future decks, there will be a new water deck if I remember correctly, Konami may be expecting future decks to use totally awesome, but, uh, but I don't think this was a danger to the, to the metagame. And uh, Zodiac Trident is also an interesting stuff. They also did it in the OCG, so it's fine. I don't think that uh, Zodiacs will be a threat to the meta, so that's fine. Let's see the spells. No spells, maybe. Oh, Instant Fusion, limited. Yes, that's correct. If you can only use one, then... Uh, it probably won't be that powerful. Yeah, having one and you have to hard throw it, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, mind control went limited. I kind of like mind control as a semi-limited card because I think two mind control is correct. In this format when there are really, really powerful boards which you have to break and mind control was a perfect card for that. So I don't think... It was, uh, was a really great hit. Okay, 3 mind control is too much. But I don't think that 2 is, uh, is not good in the format or it's not healthy. Maybe the problem here is the fact that mind control is not uh, a hard once per turn. So if it would be, then, uh, then they probably 
wouldn't hit that. But uh, but it's okay, I can accept that. I liked it as two, but one is okay. I think I will have to update one or two of my decks because they use two. For example, my dinosaur deck use two, but uh, you can just simply take one out. It won't harm the deck. Okay, Zodiac Barrage. Okay, fair, became limited. Okay, this way we will be sure that the Zodiacs won't be a threat. Let's see. No traps. Okay, no traps. And the three cards in the semi-limited section, Tour Guide was there, but uh, Destiny Hero Malicious is, uh, is here again. I think it is a bit bored, I mean the Malicious, that uh, it became semi-limited, unlimited, semi-limited, limited, so... So I kind of feel sad for this card, but uh, it's reasonable because, because it made too much advantage. I don't know why they unlimited it and then semi-limited it again. I don't like when they does that because players cannot know what to expect. And the other card is the Sky Striker with Anchor. That's fine, doesn't matter too much. Sky Striker won't be top tier again because one more with Anchor. And uh, this is the end of the list. So all in all, I think they made some uh, changes which were uh, necessary. For example, the Hyper Librarian or the Trishula hit. And uh, also I have to say that uh, the tuners, the, the hits were absolutely necessary because of Needle Fiber and the Lunalite engine and uh, the Spiral engine were too powerful. Maybe I wouldn't hit the master plan in the spiral, but but that's okay. So all in all, I expected more cards in the list because we basically changed the format, changed the, the rules of the game. So I feel this is uh, not as many changes in the list as uh, there will be in the game, but we will see. Okay, guys, this was all for today. I hope you liked the video. You can write down in the comment section what do you think about the new ban list, what's not here, which should be here, or uh, or which are the changes you don't really like. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching and get your game on!